aging and illnesses are seen as inescapable facts. As cells in our body malfunction and die over the passage of time. But this may not be inevitable. Scientists in the ageing field have started to look at the role of mitochondria, the battery pack of every living cell. Ah! So this is where you keep your flies. Professor Jeffrey studies mitochondria using fruit flies. The mitochondria in a fly is almost the same as the mitochondria in you. Mitochondria are, they regulate your metabolism, they tell you when to die, they are incredibly powerful entities. I like to talk about it as a battery in a cell. You've got less energy when the battery runs down. And Professor Jeffrey's research shows that the batteries in these flies are recharged by exposure to red light. Not only do we improve the metabolism of the fly, but also the flies live longer. And some of the experiments we've done actually show that they're cognitively better. They remember things that they wouldn't remember without the red light. But when I first saw it, didn't believe the data the first time around. We did it three or four times and the story remained the same. Professor Jeffrey is now studying the impact of red light on humans, starting with the human eye. The retina ages faster than any other part of your body. It's got more mitochondria than any part of your body. 24 people aged between 28 and 72 who had no eye disease were recruited to test the effect that long wavelength light has on their eyes. Zan has been asked to shine a specially modified torch which emits long wavelength red light into her left eye for three minutes every morning. The results of Zan's eye test are ready. You've actually improved your ability to be able to see those letters. And that star that we have over this histogram shows that that change is statistically significant. Recharging mitochondria to improve eyesight could be the start of much wider research, as current data indicates that red light could hold the key to affecting a range of age-related conditions that researchers around the world are only just beginning to explore. <laughs>